Hi guys and welcome back to the Curiosity Theorem. Do you guys remember this scene from Goodwill Hunting where Will picks up the love of his life at a bar? Yes. Well, I thought I'd help you with that moment of your life with this incredibly easy and accessible piece of napkin math. This equation is only the coolest way to calculate the root of any number. First, let's do some explaining. The first thing you need to know about here is recursion. Let's say you have a math function picturized as this cute little machine. You put in an input and out comes the answer. Recursion is essentially putting the output back in through the input. And that's what we really have to do with this equation. Let's start by asking the potential love of your life for a random number. Hey there, give me a random number and I'll show you a math trick. Okay, how about mm, three? Plug that number into this equation as a first term and crunch for two or three times. And ta-da, we're approaching the value of root two. Well, since you're visiting your resident nerd's YouTube channel, let's explain how this even works. So this sequence, no matter what you input, approaches the value of root two. The technical term for this is conversions. The number converges to root two, which means that as we increase the number of times we make this calculation, the number gets closer and closer to the value of root two. Since it converges at a very large number of recursions, the value of tn and tn plus one will almost be the same. So let's replace that value with an x. Now, as we go through this calculation, we find that x actually has the value of root two, which means the terms of the sequence tn will converge to root two. Okay, but I know a magician that can make cookies disappear. Well, don't you worry, I've got you covered. This gets a lot cooler. Let's replace two with k and raise tn to an arbitrary power of p minus n. By following the same steps, this process can literally help you calculate the pth root of k with any initial value of tn. That's right, you can calculate the 24th root of 127 by hand. Get shook. If you're too lazy to do it yourself but want to know if this is even real, click the link in the description to a simulator that I coded that does it for you. If you found this video cool, please do check out our other stuff because there's a very high chance you'll find that cool too. Thank you for watching all the way through. Please leave a comment below if this math trick blew your mind like it did mine. If you're enjoying our content, or if you're the potential love of my life and I can't meet you at a bar because all the bars are closed and we're locked at home. And of course, subscribe and turn the notification bell on for a lot more cool stuff.